And it's a, it's, they've both been Americans in Kingsman. Why that is, I, I, I don't know. You'd have to ask Matthew. Yeah. Yes, because, yeah. you know, we were talking about it the other day. You know, you've got uh, a movie made for, you know, American audience as well, and you've got American villains there. Yeah. Mm. Something... There's been a fair share of English villains as well, haven't there? There's been quite a lot of English villains. Yeah, but villains. something's changed in America. I think, you know, in the old days, you think their tradition is all about the hero. Mm. You know, actors, American actors want to be the hero. It's all about John Wayne and you save the day and all of that. Whereas in England, we grow up with Macbeth, Richard III. You know, we're happy to play villains. Yeah. The darkness is not something we're afraid of. And then TV's been taken over recently by Scandi Noir. So, the, you know, the Scandinavians aren't afraid of the darkness. But that's filtered over to the States where suddenly now... You know, you had Six Feet Under, that TV show, which was a little bit dark. You had Dexter, you know, a serial killer who was the hero of the Breaking piece. bad, isn't it? Yeah, and it's all just gone a bit dark over there as well. So maybe now, finally, we can have, uh, you know, America as the, uh, as the villain. As the bad guy, yeah. It seems like the um, underwater scenes mm. tells you a sort of like a... a trademark you know like a signature you know uh, king's men signature yeah scene. um uh, so did you have to train for that scene you do, you have to do it's i mean it's not extensive training i think you do two or three sessions with professional divers where they teach you about the process of underwater filming and you practice breath holding because for those scenes you have to kind of master the ability to uh hold your breath for a certain period of time and it's quite. It, What's your personal record? I th on the f uh, it was better on the first film. On the first film, I had to do it for longer. On the first film, I think some of those takes were over a minute. I think. Because you know, when I spoke to Margot Robbie sort of last year, she was saying that she was trained to do it for three minutes. Apparently, there's a special technique. Yes, I know people can do it. Three minutes is absolutely phenomenal. I've never. I don't think I've ever done three minutes. Um, I think I've probably done a minute, minute twenty. I'm sure Margot Robbie has. Margot Robbie is. Yeah, um, may, maybe done some special training, but um, the weirdest thing though about underwater stuff is how how weird it is. It's hard to explain. In Stardust, yeah. I had to die in midair, yes, and we shot all of that in water, and you can't see underwater, you know. And I was actually strapped down so that I wouldn't float away, so you ha you can't freak out, you know. Yeah, and in Grimsby, I did a very silly movie called Grimsby where we had to reverse in a car. You know, we would went over a bridge, and the car goes in the water backwards. And it fills up with water, and you're sitting in a car in a suit, in a massive, great big tank of water, and the water's rushing up, and your body is screaming, "You're going to die!" And this is completely unnatural. And in fact, the first time we did it, I was out, yeah. and then the second time, you just have to hold your nerve as the water rises. It's quite, uh, it's quite scary. It's mentally yeah. quite weird.